I need like a 70s like Larry Bird's make a fish bit as soon as I look my hand off the reel. I need like a Larry Bird like straight up Celtics. You know, it goes with the ginger kind of red beard. A little gray's in there now. That kind of sucks. But yeah, like, like I seriously need like a sweatband. It's hot. Talk about how you're supposed to book them. That's how you're supposed to book them. That thing just did not move. I mean, it's a big one, but it did not move. Like it had the head shake of raw, raw, instead of raw, raw, raw. There he is. I better lift that one. Oh, he's got it. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I mean, all the way. Pliers. Need pliers. I like when they eat it so good you need the pliers. Look at that guy. It's close to a four pounder. Oh my gosh. Great, 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 great big one. I don't know how many greats you can say great, but that's a great big one. Right here is why you got to use a really, really moderate action rod because he wasn't mad at all when he bit out there. And we got him up beside the boat. Now he's really mad. But when he surges like that, see how it, when it's like, <laughs> like really surges like that? If that rod didn't bow like that that much, dude, he would just rip those hooks out. <laughs> Summertime fish don't give up quite as easy as they do in the winter. I'm nervous. <laughs> He's not done. Looks like you've got it pretty good though. That's a mouthful. Now he doesn't have it very good at all. Luckily, luckily I got him. Because he went from having a whole bunch of them to only one of them. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> How about that for starting the day? Look at that. See how that fell out like that? I'm telling you that moderate action rod when you're cranking, that's why. Because if that wouldn't have been a moderate action rod, if that had been a regular graphite rod, that hook would have just pulled right out. But instead, we got a giant in the boat to start off the day. What an awesome fish, man. There is, there's nothing like the way a seven pounder locks up a deep crankbait. I mean, this just, you know, you're reeling along, you know, speed kills with the crankbait and it, they just lock it up. And oh, that is such an awesome bite. But the setup that I use, I think, you know, I love offshore cranking in the summertime. Setup I use, I think is a lot to it. I use a seven foot, 10 inch halo cranking series rod. The seven foot, 10 inch is for two different reasons. One, it's to launch. The further you cast that thing, the deeper you can get it, the deeper you can get it, the more depth ranges you can cover. So the 710 for launching it and then also for picking up that line when he when he just locks that thing up you want to be able to pull back and set those hooks you don't want to jerk you just want to kind of lean back into it and then also when he comes up way out there with all that line and jumps that big long rod that'll keep a lot of that slack out of there and slack is what you absolutely don't want as you could see that fish was barely hooked and hey if i if would have let any little bit of slack on that that fish would have been gone and that this morning wouldn't have started nearly as well without a seven pounder so that's the deal. I like an ardent uh, six five to one reel. You know, it, a six five to one. It's to me, it's the best. 
Some guys will use a seven to one, some guys will use a five to one. A five to one to me, does it make your hand not as sore by the end of the day? Yes, it does. Don't be a wussy. If the fish runs at you with a five to one, you're not gonna be able to catch up the line, keep the line tight. Once again, always keeping that line tight. So I take the, the middle of the road, the six five to one. You know, I like the Ardent on the halo rod. 12 pound Sunline crank. Um, sometimes I'll use 10 pound, but uh, like we're fishing brush piles here today. If, if we were just fishing shell beds, I'd be using Sunline crank FC 10 pound, but I, I put 12 on it today because I knew we'd be in the brush a little bit. Just It's a Strike King 6XD. There's a bunch of different plugs that would work. Um, that's just the one I'm using today. But I mean, that's the setup right there. That whole thing, it's a system to be able to do that. And you saw exactly what that system can do. Man, what an awesome, awesome crankbait fish start the morning with. You know, so many people think summertime, you know, starting on that top water stuff and all that. Well, guess what? There's a seven pounder out of 17 feet of water that proves they bite deep early in the morning too. But let's get this big old girl go. Summertime, you don't want to keep them out of the water very long at all. So we want to make sure we get her back in the water. And, and guess what? Away she goes. Let's get that plug back in that brush pile, see if we can get another one. Still catch them idling over top of them, but I think it's like as much pressure as like offshore fish get now. Like I think they're getting kind of wise to like the, oh, something rumbles over, like they don't know it's a boat. Like don't give the bass ability for rational thought. That's, that's no good, bud. But they just, something rumbles over their head, you know, and it just gets them kind of out of whack. You know, like they don't know, hey, here comes JT trying to catch me but it just gets them out of whack. And if they keep, you know, hearing that something rumble over their head, then they get caught a couple times. They don't realize they're getting caught, but they realize it's something that, damn it, they didn't like, you know, then they're gonna start associating that rumble over their head with, and don't get me wrong, I promise you, you can idle over two pounders, catch them all the time. You can idle over six pounder and catch them. But I think you have a better chance of catching them if you don't idle over top of a person to find the structure and the cover on the structure down on the bottom of the lake, yes, you have to idle it. There's no better way to find it than with Lawrence Electronics. But I think when you come back to fish it, I think, just my opinion, I think you're better off. You've got the waypoint on it. Don't idle over it, you know. Just pull up, especially shallower stuff, like 12, 14 feet. Just pull up there and start casting at it. Didn't miss him that time. Sometimes you gotta trick them with different things. <laughs> He's an acrobat. Not a big one, but guess what? The contour worm. Talking about, look at that, he ate that thing too, look at that. Look at that. Not a big one. But it's what I like to call bringing in the cleanup crew. Like I said, we cranked it. Get anything, he's a little guy. Let's let him go real quick. So, we pulled out the this little contour worm from that bait. I mean, this thing, dude, it looks like a little minner. And guess what? Bass eat minners. I don't know if there's really any pink minnows down there, but apparently, AM Dawn works pretty good, even in a little bit stained water. However, my rain's weight that was connected to my trocar hook is no more because that little rascal threw it in the bottom of the lake. I'm gonna go tie on another one. Hello, Miss Lady. So I got a really big bass on right now and uh, on a really little rod and let's just, let's uh, parlay what's actually going on right now. You know how you always hear guys preaching about, you know, you really should check your line, should retie often. Well, I got six pound sunline on right here, and this is a giant bass, and it, th there's only one way for me to tell you this in this video, my line is frayed to shit. So if I land this fish, it's gonna be amazing. But here, let's go for a ride, because he's taking us this way, come along. The one thing I like to do, is I don't I don't trust drag never have so I back reel just like yeah see how that fish is see how that fish is taking line right now I just back reel I hit the little button down here on the bottom of the reel 
and just back reel and I'm just barely keeping just barely keeping he's coming up barely keeping a little bit of little bit of pressure on this thing I'm serious my like I have six pound sunline leader on 10 pound sunline braid and my leader is really bad and it was it, if this fish comes off it's my laziness full responsibility it's all me the other issue we have right here too is that there's a couple brush piles in this area if he gets in one of those brush piles this game's over it's a pretty tense moment Well, we got close, but he didn't like that too much. Oh no, oh God. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 wind's blowing, wind's blowing, wind's blowing. Guess what? Look at that beast. I'm, t <laughs> that line is so frayed and I should have retied, but I'm talking about, see how that trocar just sticks them right there like that? That little bitty trocar. Drop shot, net bait, little rain's weight, and I'm talking about a certified donkey. I don't know how big that thing is. That's eight and a half. That might be a nine pounder on the little titanium spinning rod. Don't tell me you can't catch a great big bass on a drop shot and a spinning rod. On the drop shot. Look at that beast. Let's get this girl back in the water, man. Let's get her back. We had her out of the water a minute while she was, while we were weighing her. So let's get her going. And there she goes, seven pounder on a drop shot. You want look? Look at this guy. You want to talk about a good day? You got the scales out. We caught two really big ones cranking. We just caught a giant on a drop shot. We caught a seven pounder. Halo TI series, seven foot medium, trocar hook, reins weight, net bait T Mac worm. I mean, we just had that, we just had a Texas rig just like that. Seven pounder on a drop shot. Come on, man. That's awesome. I'm tired. I'm sitting down. That's how, that's how it goes. Halo 710, medium heavy. Cranking rod, 6.5 to 1 ardent reel, deep diving straight king crankbait, 6XD. Caught two big ones on that. You talk about some fun. We had some fun bass fishing today. Come out here, we're on a small lake here in Florida, and well, you, you, were, you were here. You watched. Awesome. Three big ones. We caught quite a few little guys too, you'll probably never see on the video. But man, I hope you guys liked this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button right down there in the comments. Throw some comments in there. Appreciate all you guys watching stuff, and I'm sure we'll have a lot more for you real soon. That's it. We smashed them. You hear me?